we talked a lot about digital yeah. and in your introduction you talked about two things digital transformation yeah. and diversity and inclusion and I know you've rightly been recognised by a number of uh, bodies for the work that you personally have done in diversity and inclusion at Vodafone and Vodafone as a result I think has been well recognised for the work it's done. It'd be great to hear about a couple of examples around that as well and your approach when it comes to e and i We've been on this journey a long time yeah. so started um, as Victoria Clow uh, came into Vodafone and we were a very early adopter of things like unconscious bias training. We declared targets back in 2008 um, uh, publicly um, and really started working with, uh, with our senior team and organisation on this journey. Frankly before it was trendy to be doing that um, and uh, you know we had a, a very supportive CEO that, for whom this was a very personal agenda yeah, yeah. so it wasn't something that the government said he had to do. He just massively believed that um, having people uh, from uh, different gender backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds, etc., um, would would be the right thing to do and have a massive positive impact on um, on the fabric of the organisation. So we had that foundation. I think you fast forward to 2014-15, and I think there's sort of been three themes for Vodafone. So so firstly, we dreamed big. So in 2015, we said we want to be the best company for women. Uh, and particularly the best employer. But that meant that very early on, when we declared that sort of um, target, yeah, so how could you be audacious enough to sort of say that? Um, but we also looked at the work we were doing with customers, with supply chain, in the community, all through um, all through that that um, that that lane. So we we had a big ambition, yeah, and we did that because we wanted to galvanise the organisation. Because once you once you say something, it means you've got to do something. Yeah. Exactly. Um, the second was uh, we lit fires. Yeah. So we were an organisation that were prepared to do things that at times were things that no one else in the world had done. And and we've done many little things. Yeah. Short lists. Um, you know, textio on, in terms of like da da. We did all of that. But but we also were prepared to do some really big things. So 2015, we were the first company in the world to launch a global maternity policy. Yeah. Groundbreaking. Not now, but at that moment no one else was thinking that way. 2017 we launched the largest um, program to reconnect uh, a thousand women who had been out of the work for one to ten years back into work uh, and then in 2019 we were the first company in the world to recognize that one in three women uh, and one in six men were silent victims in work of domestic abuse and we launched safe leave so two weeks off uh, if you find yourself in that situation a expert helpline and a HR function that was trained to help so what Vodafone has done uh, in addition to the small, is do these sort of groundbreaking uh, things that that massively galvanise the organisation, but also created an external point of view uh, that I think has changed the narrative um, uh, across uh, across the world. Um, and and that leads me to the third thing that we've been trying to do, which is create a movement. Yeah. So if you come inside Vodafone, whether it's gender, whether it's LGBT, uh, whether it's um, um, uh, inclusion in a broader sense, what you've got is an organisation that's massively engaged in this agenda. And then we took some of this out and, and, and actually, you know, Vittorio and Nick now following started to go to Davos or Pride and Prejudice and talk about why LGBT was important. So it became uh, a subject that actually our CEOs talk on platforms about, mm. um, challenging both ourselves but also the world to um, you know to play a part. So so we dreamed big, we lit fires, we did real things, and we created a movement which has um, you know allowed the organisation just to do some things that I think when we started we just wouldn't have dreamed was was um, was possible. Well, it's certainly very impressive and inspiring, and perhaps the best validation of the work that you've done. Isn't, isn't just the awards and the recognition, it's the fact that you've almost set the mark for others to try and follow. And I know when I saw you speak at the LinkedIn Talent Intelligence Experience last year, you know, there was a lot of people that were, were inspired by that talk. I have to say, um, I would say this, but I think um, you know, we've got one of the most talented uh, heads of diversity and inclusion in, in Vodafone, and all of that community has come together behind a really important uh, agenda. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.